أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله حمدا لا ينفض وأفضل ما ينبغي والصلاة والسلام على أشرف المرسلين نبينا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه وسلم تسليما كثيرا اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد اللهم بارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد رب شرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحلل أقودة من لساني يفقه قولي Brothers Alhamdulillah We give glory to Almighty Allah That make us to witness today Many people from last week that we did our program Many passed away We give glory We give thanks to Almighty Allah That make us to be among the living one today Above all Above all we are among, we still remain a Muslim. If you wake up in the morning and you find yourself as a Muslim, give glory to my, my Allah. Because that is the gift that money can buy. Money can, cannot buy. It's very expensive. It's very, a very expensive gift from Almighty Allah. Uh, we give thanks to Allah for that on everything that is he did upon every one of us. Last week we learned uh, our lecture our lecture is uh, the right of Almighty Allah. But today inshallah we are going to be is going to be on the right of the right of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Quran Quran said laqad kana lakum fi rasulillahi uswatun hasana لمن كان يرجو الله واليوم الآخرة وذكر الله كثيرا. That is in Surah Al-Ahzab. That indeed, indeed, is in the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم for you a good example. أسوة حسنة. A good example is what we can learn. From the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, he said, "The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, for who, for the people that hope that they are going to meet Allah on the day of judgment, the last day. So, as we can, we know, the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was given, was born in Mecca, in Mecca al Mukarramah. He was born from a." great people of Mecca. We call them al Quraysh. Why? Why Allah choose to bring the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam from that tribe? Because of the importance of the message. Allah brought the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam from Quraysh in Mecca. So that if Allah bring Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam from the less, the less people of Mecca at that, that time, they will not listen to him. Because Arab used to proud with the tribe, where they come from, where they come from. So they will not listen to him. And that is why Allah brought Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam from that great tribe, that is Al Quraysh. Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was born as an orphan. During it was he was in the belly of his mother when the father passed away. Passed away, that is in Medina. And is, the mother also lived with him just only six years. When the Prophet وسلم, was six years, that is, why the, that is when the mother also passed away. Meaning, Prophet Muhammad وسلم, is total yatim. Yatim, that is often. Totally. And when you are going to look at it very well, this did not make him to lose his way. The Prophet ﷺ, without father, without mother, 
and he did not lose his way. Yes, we know that is by guide, guide of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Okay, we today we are, we are with our parents. Are we not with our parents? Father and mother, alhamdulillah. Mm. And look at him. At age of six, he lost his mother. Age of six. That time, the qualified Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam with an attribute called al sadiq al amin Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is what? sadiq al amin He started to, yeah, he started to uh, take sheep. That is a lot of goats, rams. Okay, if we, if we go and give them grass to eat, in the evening he will bring them back to the owner and they will give him something. This is how Prophet Muhammad وسلم, is making use of, uh, uh, is taking care of himself. Till Khadija, his wife, found him. Khadija, his wife, found him. Asadiku, that is truthful. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is a truthful. Uh, uh, the the, the Azimur room that is Ar and that is Harkal. What did he say about the Prophet? He said, the Prophet that never never lied to anybody. That is why his message that is brought to us must be truth. Harkal, this is Azimur room. That is the king of room that time. He said, the Prophet that. He never lied to his people. He never lied to, the, to his people. That is why now today is uh, the message, his message must be accepted. Look at ourselves here. For today alone, how many lies did we lie? To our fellow brothers? To our parents? How many? Check yourself. Hmm? This is not, because if Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. If they found a lie in his record, did you think that the message is going to be accepted? That is sadiqul amin. The poor people of Makkah they know Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam as sadiq, that is a truthful, al amin, trustworthy. That is why Sayyida Khadija. Put Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam in her business. Did you know what? Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam he will give Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam goods to go and sell. After Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam sell the goods, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam with the money, the capital, and the profit, he will buy another goods in that market and he will sell it again. And did you know what? He's not going to keep that money to himself. He is going to deliver all the money. Can some, anybody who is among us can do that today? Did you understand what I said now? He will sell the goods that they gave to him, say the Khadija gave to him. When, he's, when, he's, when he sold it, the gain and the capital, he will use it and buy another good in that market. Eh? He will use it and buy another good in that market and also uh, sold it. If he sold it, the profit and the gain, he will now come and give the master. That is why the people of Makkah, they know him. Nobody among them, nobody among them know Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam as a liar. All of them, they know him as a trust, as sadiku, truthful and uh, uh, trustworthy. Truthful and trustworthy. Now, Part of the uh, moral, because the Prophet uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say in the Quran, وَإِنَّكَ لَعَلَى خُلُكٍ عَظِيمٍ وَإِنَّكَ لَعَلَى خُلُكٍ عَظِيمٍ You, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, indeed, you are of the great moral character. Great moral character. Meaning, nobody in this art, on this art, Nobody on this earth is going to compare himself with the Prophet وسلم, with the kind of moral that Prophet Muhammad has. 
we are saying this so that we learn from the life of the Prophet Sallallahu We learn from the life of the Prophet Sallallahu so that we can copy it, so that we can make use of it, so that our life is going to be better and be best for every one of us. Kana Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam ahsanu nasu khulqan is the best of the moral. Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is the best. With, this is what people say about the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Wa akuramahum is the most honor, wa atqahum most pious. Most, the person that has fear of God, most is the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Kaala Ta'isha, lama su'ilat radiyallahu anha an khulq al-Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, qalat, kana khulquhu al-Qur'an. What did what say the Aisha, Umul Mu'min? What did he say about, about the Prophet? When they, they asked him, what is the moral of the Prophet? What is the character of the Prophet? What, did they, what is the reply? He said, Khuluquhu al Quran. The Prophet is moral and character is Quran. What is that telling, what is that telling us? That what Quran say that is good. That is what you will find the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is, good, is doing. One, what Quran say that is not good, that is what you find the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam will stay away from it. And that is why Sayyidah Aisha say, Khulkuhu Al-Quran. Meaning, if we, as we are, to, we are here today, if we try to take, or to, 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 to take from the Quran our moral, Meaning we are going to we are going to succeed in this life. We are going to we are going to succeed in this life and air after. This is the moral of the Prophet. This is the character of the Prophet. Now Quran is in the Quran that you should not gamble. It is forbidden to gamble. You know gambling? What gambling can do? If we turn you and your brother to enemy. Okay, you put a lot of money to gambling. And the man, the man ate your money. Are you going to be happy with him? Hmm? Are you going to be happy with him? You are not going to be happy with him. That is why gambling it is forbidden in Islam. Okay? Uh, drinking uh, alcohol. The same thing is in the Quran that is forbidden. All what Quran say that is forbidden, we should stay away from it. That is why Khulq nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is Quran. Now, when we are talking, what is the meaning of Khulq Hassan? What is the meaning? What, what do we mean by that? That good moral. Good moral, according to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Qala nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, al-birru husn al-khulq. Al-birru usnul khulq. That is the righteous, the righteous is the good character, is the good moral. Meaning, when you are doing the righteous deed, that gave you the good moral and good character. Now, now we have to usnul khulq ma Allah. Usnul khulq ma ibadillah. Good moral to your creator. A good moral to your creator. How is that? Usnul khulq ma Allah is to accept the law of Allah. Is to accept the law of Allah with all your heart, without any argument. When Allah say you should do. You have to run and do. When Allah say that you should stay away from certain thing, you have to stay away from it. Now, you should accept the Sharia, the law of Allah, the riddle, with pleasant art. With pleasant art. What taslim with submission. minha. And you don't have anything. You don't have anything. You don't have anything wrong with it. 
this is how we are we supposed to be that you don't have anything against the law of Allah your heart should accept it now like like from example like what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala command us to pray five daily prayers five daily prayers even though we are in summer now we are in the summer now you find it at times in the morning in the afternoon like salat al-zuhur salat al-asr it is very hot that time is very hot and you still have to go and pray to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you still have to go and pray and this kind of time you have more reward you have more reward like the cold cold season you perform ablution with cold water understand doesn't mean that you should perform ablution if you have a means to get hot water then use hot water to perform your ablution okay we are in the cold season it doesn't mean that when you use hot water that allah will not accept your ablution no okay but you can still perform ablution and go to the mosque during the cold season you have more reward on that so if allah subhanahu wa ta'ala subhanahu wa ta'ala commands you to pray you should not find any yani you should accept it with your heart accept it with your heart and go and pray the, the, the same thing apply with zakat how much are you going to give for your zakat what did we mean by zakat can somebody charity, eh? charity giving arms giving we call it arms giving charity giving how much are we going to pay from the zakat hmm? what did you say brother 2.5 percent 2.5 percent now if i have 10000 kataria if i have 10000 kataria how much it will be that i will just remove from that 10000 if that if the brother say if the brother say 2.5 percent so how much it will be 2.5 percent of 10000 250 kataria please look at it very well out of 10000 you are just going to take 250 kataria and this amount of money you are not going to give it next month you are not going to give it six months you are going to give it another year coming once in a year once in a year this is the money that you are going to give i know most of us we are not reached the stage but inshallah you have to put it in your mind as alhamdulillah allah guide you allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guides you to be praying to observe your five daily prayer now put all the pillars of islam put them in your mind that i am going to be doing it if allah bless me inshallah i'm going to pay my zakat if i did not fall sick if i didn't i'm not on long journey i'm going to observe my ramadan if allah gave me ability if allah gave me ability i'm going to perform my hajj we should the more the muslim we should put that in, in, my, in our mind that all this we are going to be doing it now this is for allah all what allah said that we should give as as the, as the right we should give him good character with somebody like you for your friends your neighbor now anything that you need you see that can hurt anybody you remove it don't use uh don't hurt anybody al-muslim man salima al-muslimuna min lisanihi wa yadihi al-muslim who are we going to call muslim is the person that people save people are saved from what he can do with his hand and with his mouth people can hurt you with it, with their hand they can hurt you with what they say about you they can lie on you and that can lead to to, to, to destroy somebody's life so we should stay away from anything that can hurt human being like you not human being alone even the animals 
even the animals, we should stay away from what can hurt the animal. We have cat. We have cat in our surroundings. If you are not going to be good to them, leave them. But you must be good to the cat. If you have something to give, give it to them. Let them eat. This is what we learn from the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Now, if we, we, are not, we are not going to hurt people, and the, everything that we find on the street that we know that can injure somebody, can, that somebody can be hurt, like broken bottle, like a sharp uh, iron, somebody just put it on the street, where, or you just find it on the street, or nail, you should remove it from the street. You should remove it from the street. And also you should be patient from what people can do to you. Don't pay evil with evil. Are you people get what I'm saying? Are you with me? Don't ever, don't ever pay evil with evil. Instead of, that, instead of that, Allah said that you should be patient. Allah said that you, you should be patient. And also, what you can also give, if you don't have money to give to somebody, to anybody, if you have a smiling face. You have a smiling face. If I meet a brother now, I'm greeting, I'm not going to greet him like this. Assalamu alaikum. No, you should not do that. You should give talaqat al your, your face must be smiling so that the brother will know from his heart that you really, you really come to, to greet him and you really want to greet him. Not in a way that the brother will be looking at you that, oh, what did I do wrong for, with this guy? Look at him. He's greeting me, but the, 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 the face looks sad. Okay? Now... The Prophet Sallallahu have his own right. We talked about the right of Allah last week. The first right of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. What did Allah say in the Quran? In Surah Al-Ahzab, again, the, 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 the verse that I recite in Surah Al-Ahzab, this one also in Surah Al-Ahzab. Allah say, Inna Allah wa malaikatahu Yusalluna ala nabi. Ya ayyuha alladhina amanu sallu alayhi wa sallim taslima. That he Allah, he Allah, and he's sending. Are you people with me? Sending. What Allah is sending? Huh? Now, look at it very well. We have sallu. You saluna ala nabi. And the, the, this prayer that we used to observe here, we call it what? Salat. As salat. Does that mean Allah is doing salat, the same prayer for the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and his angel? What is the one that is in the Quran? What does that mean? Now we have a salat as an act of ibadah, act of worship. We have, listen, we have a salat as an act of, act of what? Worship. An act of worship is to bow down and prostrate, as sujood. We have a salat as an act of a supplication. Act of a supplication to prayer. You say prayer, is that not so? Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana. What am I doing? I'm praying, what, for who? I'm praying for myself. But that one that we, are, we, we use sujood and ruku to do, that is for Allah. We cannot do that for anybody. When we want to pray on our death, death somebody die. Did, is there any ruku? Are we going to make ruku? Are we going to make sujood? Because it's only Allah deserves it. It's only Allah deserves our ruku and sujood. Now, act of supplication. We also call it dua, dua, as salat if you look at a dua, meaning prayer. But in the real meaning, the one that we used to do is an act of ibadah. You include ruku and sujood. But 
supplication is the one that we did we do for ourselves now if i be, if i need something from allah like we when do, do the exam come we want to do exam when the time of the exam many of us we we be in our room study we are not going to rely on our studies alone we are going to put prayer we are going to include it with our prayer so that we have best mark yes you have to learn that you have to learn how to pray the prayer for Allah and you have to learn how to pray to supplicate for yourself and for your pray parents and that will be part of you even when you when we don't have our parent when they are no more we are going to be used with that to be praying for them in their grief in Allah said that he is sending blessing and mercy to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam meaning a salat here also mean sending blessing and mercy to the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and allah command us as a mu'min to also do that and that is why the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam say man salla alayya marra sallallahu alayhi ashara marrat allah we send that the same blessing that you sent to prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam once allah also will send it back to you 10 times 10 10 times meaning you should do more meaning if i do one allah will bless me with 10 allah will reward me with 10 if i do 10 allah will reward me with 20 is that not uh, no 10 to 10 100 100 Allah will reward you, okay, do 1,000 salat. Somebody will say, oh, what about, <laughs> did I offend, who did I offend to? <laughs> no, my Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa deserve it. He deserve it. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa deserve it where we're supposed to be today, if not because of the Prophet. Maybe we are going to be in the club, dancing. Hmm? Dancing. We are going to be in the club dancing. Hmm? Drinking. Moving around with guests. Because yeah, we are mature, we are a boy, very how mashallah. Now, moving around with guests on the street. All this is forbidden. All this is forbidden. So we send blessing and mercy to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Now, the second thing that you are going to do, the right of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the second right of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, you have to put the love of the Prophet on everything. What did he say? لا يؤمن أحدكم أتى أكون أحب إليه Min waladihi wa walidihi wa nas ajma'i. Min waladihi wa walidihi wa nas ajma'i. La yu uminu. You are not a Muslim yet. You are not a believer. Atta until akuna ahabu ilayhi. I'm the lovely one in his heart. Min waladihi than his son, his children, or his parents, I'm the only lovely one in his heart than everybody. You have to love the Prophet wasallam than your mother, than your siblings, than all your relatives. That is the second right that you have to give. You have to give the Prophet wasallam. Now, the third right that you have, to, you have to give the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Ihturamuhu, Tawqiruhu or Ihturamuhu You have to honor the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam And you have to respect the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam When Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is living, you have to respect him You have to honor him, but now he's not respecting How are you going to do that? It's Sunnah he left two things to, with us. What are the two things? Two things? Somebody, what are the two things? The, the man brought back in. What the prophets left for us? What? You don't know. 
Masha Allah. Uh, two things. Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam left two things. Uh, okay, Sheikh. Uh, Quran and Sunnah. Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam left Quran and Sunnah. When you make of use, you make use of this, and that is now you honor the Sunnah of the Prophet and you respect the Sunnah of the Prophet. We should not stay away from Sunnah. We have many Sunnah we're supposed to apply on ourselves. Every day, Sunnah to enter toilet, what are you going to say? If you want to enter toilet, it's Sunnah. If you want to get out of your house, what are you going to pray? How are you going to get out of your house? With right leg or left leg? All this sunnah that we have to learn. We have to learn it. And as I mentioned last week, the maslah to who yarja ilayna, the benefit return to us. When you pray before you go out of your house, what is that? Huh? You are going to be protected till you return. Or what Bun Mas'ud? When the Quraysh, the Quraysh sent him to go and negotiate with the Prophet because the Prophet wants to come and perform uh, Umrah from, from Medina. So, and they don't allow him to, so because they have some agreement. So he now come to negotiate. He, when he went back to, to, to the Quraysh, what did he say? I did not say, I did not see in my life, I make different type of journey. I visit different kings of that time. Faisar, Kisra, Najashi. I visited them. I did not see any one of them respect their king, their people, like the Sahaba respected the Prophet and honor him. This is what he say. This is what he say to the uh, to his people, the Quraysh. Meaning, the Sahaba during their lifetime, when they are living with the Prophet wasallam, they don't even look at his high. They don't look at him like this. When the Prophet is speaking, you see them like this. What is that? Tawqir, honor and respect they have for the Prophet wasallam. Now, again, part of the hukuk, part of the right of the Prophet wasallam, what is that? The part of the right of the Prophet wasallam, when Prophet wasallam prophesies about Umur al madiyah the, the absent, he gave you story of the absent of what happened to the people before uh, the arrival of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, we should believe it. Allah, says, Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala says in the Quran, لا ينتكو أن الهوى إن هو إلا وحيو يوحى Meaning that all the, world, the whole of Hadith, understand, also is wahyu min Allah. The Hadith, if Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala says, لا ينتكو أن الهوى Prophet Muhammad cannot speak on his own. He speaks from the revelation, the wahayun we give to him. Meaning, the hadith totally, for the people I'm talking, I'm saying this for the people that they say they reject the hadith. There are some people like that. They believe in Quran. That, no. We are not going to know what Quran is talking about except with hadith. Now, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say we should pray. We should observe the, the prayer. That is what we learn from the Quran. The hadith came and it told us that first thing to do, first thing to do is to perform ablution. To perform ablution before we go for that prayer. And give the prayer's name and also divide them. The time we are going to observe each this hadith, you cannot find this in the Quran. Salat al Fajr, Zuhr, Al Asr, all this prayer, all this name, you cannot find it. But hadith came to confirm, to, to, to give them the name and the time. 
the time that we're supposed to, 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 do, to, to observe the prayer. That is hadith. You have to believe if Prophet Muhammad says say something about Umur al madiya the past tense, we have to believe in. If Prophet Muhammad say says something about what is going to happen, like he prophesied that when the end of time comes, this is what is going to be happening. Yeah, we see everybody, the women, we walk naked. Kasiya to Aria. You see women naked everywhere. Something, music is what people will be listening to. When they play Quran, no, 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 I don't want to listen. No, I, when they play Quran, but if they play any music, you will like to listen to that. This is that, all oh, this Prophet وسلم, prophesied about about it. Wa imtithalu ma bihi amrun wa shinabu wa shinabu ma an ma anhu naha. And if Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam command us to do something, we should quick, we should quick and do it. And if Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam command us to stay away from certain thing, we should stay away from it. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "Laisa minna man lam man lam yarham sagirana wa lam yuakir kabirana." Laisa minna. Anybody that did not have mercy for our young one is not part of us. And any young one that is not going to respect the, the old one is not part of us. Meaning you are not part of the Muslim. We pray that Allah should not remove us among the Muslims. Part of the right of the Prophet on you, on every one of us. To protect the Sharia to Allah. To defend the Sharia. The law of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the right of everybody to defend it, to protect it. You may be in somewhere that they will be tarnish the image of Islam. Don't keep quiet. Don't keep quiet. Say something. Even though they have maybe they can overcome that, you have to. Let them know that they don't have the right to tarnish the image of your religion. Defa'a and deen. Protect your religion. Protect your, the sunnah of Prophet Sallallahu And protect your faith. Your faith is what? An Islam. That is what you believe. And that, you, that is what you believe that it will save you on the day of judgment. We should not, pray, we should not play with it. We should, we should not joke with the law of Allah. The law of Allah, the deen itself, the, the, the Islam, Islam, we should not, it's not something to, Allah is not something to play with, to joke with. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is not something to joke with. The, the deen, the, our religion, is not something to joke with. We have to respect, we have to honor. We have to honor our sharia, our deen. We have to respect our deen. Our, our, and don't let anybody to use bad mouth to talk about your religion. Okay? Now, subhanakallahumma bihamdik. Ashadu la ilaha illa anta astagfur wa atubu ilayk. Subhana rabbika rabbi izzati amayi sifun. Wassalamu ala al-musani wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. He called, the first thing he started from his family. His first dawa, his first call, first call, his wife. And the people that they are very close to him, because what that is, wanzir ashiratak al akurabi. This is what Quran say, that one, give them warning. The people, they are, they are, they are the people that they are very close to you. And for the first time, they did not accept the, the, the da'wah. They did not accept that, and that is what caused Abi Lahab to say what he said. And Quran responded to that. He caused the Prophet, and Quran responded to the cause. Tabbalak 
tabbat yada abi lahab wa tab so gradually gradually ali accept the religion said khadija accept the religion but some uh, his friend abu bakr radiyallahu ta'ala anhum accept the religion gradually gradually the people the the, the, the friend for the friends of abu bakr abu bakr invite them into the religion and they accept it but for the first this is the yani part of what the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam faced in makkah he faced and uh, yani the the, the he faced many problem in makkah from the quraish because the first time they are wow well, we got to leave the gods you know they have different gods more than 360 or 360 gods they are worshiping so what happened they are they say how are we going to leave 360 gods and worship one god that we are calling us to are you you do get it how are they are going to their they are this is with their response to the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam how are we going to leave this god's 360 gods and worship one god but alhamdulillah today that is makkah hmm? that is makkah so everybody now in makkah everybody alhamdulillah they are they are muslims with the patience of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam because everything that we are doing we have to be patient so be patient of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam many people come to islam yeah. hope i answer your question yeah. any